cluttered mind makes up for the cluttered life. Everything that we decide to do begins internally. And it's a tragedy that a lot of people every time let out crappy thoughts instead of the maximum potential they carry inside. Organizing the thoughts are not so easy because thoughts and emotions are deeply intertwined. So today I want to discuss about how we should organize our thoughts for better mental clarity. Nowadays we see a lot of people suffer from clinical depression and this happens because of overthinking. Overthinking is due to a cluttered mind. So the goal here is to have system, tools and a step-by-step -step practical approach to help you manage your thoughts. Now I'm not specifically sure up to how many percent you could control your thoughts but I'm 100% sure that you can control what you do about them. I think this is a muscle that I need to improve. We all need to improve. It is the most important skill of the 21st century. It literally saves you from being avoided, deflected, manipulated and thus us a clearer vision. Now we all have ongoing continuous thoughts. Thoughts like Hey, that girl is not replying me. Why that Auntie Leah is so marvelous? Why I don't have physique like Hrithik Roshan? Why I am so overconfident? Why people hate me? Whatever thoughts you have, please write it down. This concept is known as journaling. Now, I consider brain as a computer. Computer has two specific memories. First is RAM, second is storage. RAM is quickly accessible but has limited space. Whereas storage is a bit slowly accessible but has a lot of space. If I keep an object in front of you, let's say this mobile. So whenever I keep that object in front of you, your brain quickly access hundreds of scenarios associated with that mobile. And it does within a fraction of a second. So let's assume our brain is RAM and we need to complete, uh, continuously free up, free up the space. So journaling helps you do that. Writing it down reduces unwanted data from your brain. Second is editing. Now you have the, you have written your thoughts onto the book. It's time to refine it. Editing helps you refine the data and helps you with a clearer vision. So your thoughts should be as specific as possible. Now, whenever I shoot a video, whenever I make a content, I make sure that my data should be as specific as possible in order to have better understanding. Now, whenever you complete with the second process, your third process is testing. You have the refined data. Now you want to test it. The best way for testing is to go out, have a one-to-one -one conversation with strangers, with the people who want to listen you up. By doing this, people will give you feedbacks, some positive feedbacks, some neg negative feedbacks, but these feedbacks are necessary to redirect your thought process. They might let you know that you are thinking in the wrong way and that might help you in future. So this was a step-by-step -step procedure, but we, if we aim for a long-term process, then I think any physical form of exercise will be crucial. You might have experienced that when you lift anything heavy or when you sprint, your body exerts feel-good hormones and your brain start functioning faster and better. So according to WHO, running for 20 minutes a day helps you functioning better and functioning faster so i hope you like the video please do like share and follow startup machine my name is abhishek and thanks for watching